Welcome back to another video in the series of Lab 2020. We are now on our fifth video. The fifth video will discuss uh, user profiles, desktop profiles, roaming profiles, and folder redirection as per requested in the comments. So the first video we created a Windows Server 2019 server, turned it into a domain controller, added some users, and we also added some users for the Windows 10 machine that we added as client machines. And we've also added two file servers. And we showed you how to do uh, FSRM, which is file disk quotas, and so forth. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we'll just use file server one for now. What we want to do is go to the file server one. Now I'm just going to clean up some of my tests here. Uh, all right, so what we'll do is we'll use file number file server two because I did some testing there, and um, I didn't clean up. So, so you have a fresh start from this. So we'll go on to file server number two. Close all our windows. So file server number two has a home folder, which the users are logging into. What we want to do now is we want to create a folder called profiles. And we also want to create a folder called redirected. Now what you want to do is you want to right click on the profiles, properties, go to sharing, advanced tab, uh, sharing, share and permissions full control. So we're sharing the folder as profiles and putting full control permissions for anyone to get to. And then what we'll do is lock it down with domain users. This way only users on the domain can actually get there. And we'll give it full control for everything right for any user. Now this isn't a share that everybody's gonna use, it's just a system share. Again, we want to create a share on the redirected folder, properties, sharing, advanced sharing, share the folder, full control permissions, click OK, click OK. Now we need to go to security, and the same rule applies, domain users. Now this is just to show you how it's done. This isn't any, any best practice policy or anything like that. This is just to show how it's done, educational. So we click OK, click Close. Now we have those available. How we can test it now is we go up here, FS2, 2019, and we see the shares. That's all we want to see. We go back here. So File Server 2, we have Profiles and Redirected. So first thing we want to do is turn on Profiles. So on a Windows 10 machine, when you first log in, you go to C Drive, Users, and every user who logs in, it will create a profile. So in this case, we're logged on to User 5. So User 5's profile, all the file, all this data is all here. If this machine were to be corrupt, the hard drive passes on. If, let's say if it's a physical machine, if it's a real Windows 10 laptop or something and the hard drive dies, you lose all your data. There's no backups, nothing. So an idea of saving this data would be to roam the profiles. Also to allow, if you have two different computers, you could log on to each machine. So let's go back to Windows 10. We create two test folders we had previously done. Let's create some files. Okay, so we have four files and there. So now what we wanna do is go to our domain controller. And let's go to all the users. Okay, so user one, well, user five is we'll start with. User five, profile. What we want to do now is we want to point to the server that has that share. FS2 2019. And then you want to say profiles. That's the share. And now we want to put username percent percent username percent. And we want to copy that. When I click apply, the percent username percent will change it to the username variable. So let's click OK. 
let's go to number two profile and let's paste what we did we can paste the same statement click apply and now user two so now what if we want to do batch you can highlight all the users properties go to profile and click on the profile path and apply this this way all the users will end up with the profile path that you t you paste so now all your users now have roaming profiles so now when we go to server 2 let's go under profiles leave that there let's go on the windows machine and let's log off Go to the second Windows machine. Let's log off. Let's go back to the first one. Now let's log on. User 5. And let's go to the second machine and log on again. User 2. While it's logging in, let's go to the file server. So now we have profile paths for one, two, and five. Because remember when we first created an Active Directory, user one was the first one we did. User two is the one we're logged in now. And user five is the one we're logged in now. So let's look at what the profile has. So we go into user one. To, we don't have permission well it doesn't matter if we have permission because the user has to so let's go here and let's go to that path okay go to profiles now user 2 right I'm logged on as user 5 user 5 has nothing written let's go to user 2 Go to profiles. Let's go to user two. Now, how we can prove that is I'm user. I'm user two, so I get into the user two profile. Now let's log off. Let's go to user five. Let's log off. And it usually takes about two logins and log log in or log off to write data back up to the profile. Let's go to number five here. Seems like we're going a little quick here. So we got one, two, I think one was previous, so we'll leave that alone. So number two, let's look at the local drive. So we're logged in as user two. So user two on the C drive has that. Let's open up another folder. So you can see this. There's a local profile. And let's go to that file share. Profiles. And we're user number two. And there you go. An exact duplicate of everything up there. Now the only problem is now this profile has desktop, has downloads and documents. All right. So if we have all that happening here, now it has a duplicate of this up to there. So if we need to re restore it, we have a copy of it. Now this is not a good idea for when you're logging in on a laptop. Let's say you're logging in on a slow link and you log in. It will now try and profile anything changes here back down to the PC and vice versa. When you log off, it'll change there. So it'll take longer login and log off times. So roaming profiles is not something you really use anymore. It's something that you, you could use if you want, but not recommended. The better way to do it is called folder redirection. So with folder redirection, what we could do is let's look at the desktop here. See how it says the location is on the C drive, right? All of these folders 
location is on the C drive. Now you can manually change it and move it, but let's control it from central. So let's go to domain controller, let's close Active Directory. Let's open up a tool called Group Policy. So Group Policy Management now will let us manage things from central, from here. So you could apply to everyone. So on the domain, let's create a new group policy. Call it folder redirection. And there's a new policy. Okay. What we want to do now is edit the policy. We want to go to user configuration, policies, Windows settings, folder redirection. Now what we want to do is on the documents, we want to change that to be basic. And we would leave that to create a folder in a root path. And now we want to put it somewhere. So we want it to be on FS2 2019 redirected. Now see how it automatically filled in our tab here. So I'm putting it to this folder and it will use a username and documents. So now that's all we have to do. So let's copy this and say, okay. And that's going to apply the policy. Now under pictures, now it's probably a good idea to keep them all under the documents. So in pictures, let's follow the documents folder. And this way pictures will be inside documents. Apply. Let's go music. Same thing. Follow the documents folder. Click OK. Videos. Let's follow the documents folder. Click OK. Favorites. You can if you wish. Right? You can say basic. Leave it under root. And then you can just, again, see? It'll the same user. Click OK. Apply. Contacts, we don't care. If you do, you can do that same thing. Basic, apply. Now the whole idea is you just want to redirect certain data. You don't care about all that stuff, but if you want, you can. So properties, now downloads is always a good idea to just have somewhere else. So we're going to paste it in the same place. So now the stuff we care about is going down there. This is if you redirect this, what happens is if you install things like Photoshop or anything like that, it uses app data for cache and all these other configuration settings. These settings will up and download to every machine you go to. In this case, we don't want to do that. We want to leave them where they are. So the only thing we care about, if we want, we can also do desktop. So let's say redirect. So we've pretty much done all the folders we care about. We don't care about the start menu. Just a desktop documents, pictures, music, videos, favorites, contacts. We didn't need any of those. And downloads. The rest will just leave. So now we've made a policy where it's going to redirect our files from local C up to the server. So now what we want to do is go to the PC. And we want to click on the folder. And let's see if anything's changed. It's still there. So what we need to do now is we need to apply the policy. So that is a user policy. So what we need to do is right click on start, click run, type CMD, and we're going to type group or GP update, that's group policy update, forward slash force. This is going to force the policy to come down to the PC. And we can also type it here. Let's go here. So it's completed the policy and now it wants us to log off. Because it's a user policy, it will not take an effect until you log off and back on again. So let's go here. Yes. Okay. So now let's go back to our, our file server. Redirected. We should now see when the user logs in, we should see this populate. So let's go on here. Okay, so user five, and let's go with user two. And let's go see what the file server is doing. So it created a user folder. 
it created documents, it created pictures, and now it's slowly creating them all. So I'm going to go back out. It's documents, my pictures. You can't get them to them because permissions. Favorites, downloads. And each user will have all the features and all the, the items that you told it to redirect. Desktop, documents. Okay. Now you, sh you don't really need to have permissions to get into this because it's only for the desktop. On the desktop itself, we can go because the user has full rights. Now you can also put permissions in there for administrators or, or service desk staff to, to connect and be able to restore for the user. So you see here now it says redirected, right? These are all redirected. So right click, properties, see how it's going there now? You could change the location manually, but this is where it's going now because of group policy. So this is how you can redirect files from your C up to a different location. So now in on the C drive, users, and we're user number five, look at the profile now. All the stuff is gone. So all of the main data you wanted is all updated on the server. So music, we told it to follow desktop. So location, see, it goes into there. Video, same thing. We told it to go there. Now it's not doing anything because it's under documents. It moved those under documents because we told it to. So documents is, rec is replicating up to the file server. It's redirected, sorry. So let's take a look. Okay. FS2. Let's go to redirected. And we're logged in as user 5. User 5 has access to everything there. So that's how you set up your roaming profiles and your folder redirection. You can now turn off roaming profiles if you don't wish to have it by just going back to the users. And you can go to the users and just delete it. The users no longer roaming profiling. So no more roaming. So you've just created a folder redirect where files are being backed up from the PC. They're actually being sent to the server. So now you're able to back them up on the server. And if the user's hard drive dies on a local PC, you don't care. Because you can always restore. And all the users now don't have roaming profiles. If you want to undo the policy we just made, then what we could do is go to the group policy. You can go here and you say link enabled. And now it becomes a disabled policy. So it'll take a few times for the user policy to quit doing what it's doing. You also might have to reverse it as well. So we'll link enable it to leave it on because this is a good way of doing things. You can also specify just certain users if you wish. So by default, it's authenticated users, which is everybody. Um, and that would be how you do it. So that's how you do your folder redirections from a Windows 10 machine. If you had Windows 7, Windows 8, whichever it was, it would all be folder redirected. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully the video helped you a lot. Um, if there's any questions, links, the link down below, you could put anything you want in there to let me know what you'd like to see, more of what you want to see, less of what you want me to do. Um, I'm open for any suggestions. I'm just trying to pass on knowledge on how to do certain things in a virtual lab. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.